talked about it recently on the show. Yes. 6,000 career wins. Yeah, only the sixth trainer in history. Um, Monday afternoon, Scott Lake got it done. That's absolutely an enormous number. No question. And here's more with Scott. Scott, you said a few months ago this is the one goal you had left in the game to get to 6,000. Now that you're there, what's it feel like? Uh, it's unbelievable. You know, just uh, stressful getting to this point. Uh, you know, everybody's building it up, and uh, which I understand it's big, but uh, it, it's fantastic. It, you know, for all my help, all my owners, the, every horse I had the pleasure of putting a tackle on, it's, you know, it just means the world to us. The fact that you did it with your first chance, this is a hard game to do, right? This is your first shot at it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we won one on Saturday, and uh, this is the first one we ran since then, so it's good. And you kind of knew it was a first-time starter, but you had a sense this, this, she was pretty good. Yeah, she's been working really well, and she just does everything so easy, and, uh, you know, we were kind of confident coming in here. But, again, you know, you had that monkey on your back, so you're a little nervous. Scott, go back to the beginning. It's been almost over, a little over 30 years since you've been doing this. Uh, you ever in your wildest dreams envision this kind of a day? I got in this and, you know, one of my first owners was a guy named Alan Pincus and I just always thought I just wanted to be in this business in some capacity and, and undo this and for it to happen, you know, become what it's become, it's just unbelievable. It's a little surreal. You had an unbelievable run, like where you were winning four, 300, 400, 500 races a year. That's no, you're not doing that anymore. Where are you in the game? What, what, what's your place in the game at the moment? I mean, I'm happy. You know, maybe 125 wins a year. You know, keeping about 70, 80 horses in training. We scaled back, spend more time with my kids and everything. And I'm, I have no complaints of the decisions I've made and what we've done. You know, and and you know where we're at in the business now. And you're hearing Keith call this in the background. What was that like when you're hearing it go on? I, you know what? When I was watching the race, I couldn't even hear him. And now that you're, you know, I'm sure I'll go back and watch the replay a few times and get a better feel of it. And it wasn't close. Are they, are they the best kind? Yeah, they're the, by far the best kind. <laughs> I know I asked you this a while back. When you see the names that are ahead of you, the first five to get to 6,000 to join that club, what does that mean? Uh, you know, it, it means the world because you, when you're growing up and you're looking at these guys and you know and they're winning all these races, they become your idol. And then one day you're, you're you're now on equal with them and you're, you know, you wake up and you're sixth all time and you're, wow, you know, how did this happen? So it, it's, it's, it's kind of baffling to me that we got to where we were. But and, and you're not that old. How old are you? I'm only 53, so. So you got a long, you got a long way to go. What, what's next? What's the next goal? 7,000. Well, I'll knock off <laughs> Leatherberry first, you know. Okay. I mean? So. So you're gonna, hang, you're not going anywhere for uh, a while. No, I have no plans on going anywhere. And you, but you're off to a horse sale to buy some more horses, yes? Yep, yep. I changed my flight to be here for this one, so I'm kind of glad I did, and it was worth the extra 350. <laughs> so. And Scott's been around here for a long time. He's been a good friend to both of us, and and Dick, uh, we congratulate him on a tremendous career achievement. No question.